former finance minister and current CCC vice president Tendai Biti has promised to re the country if his party, the Citizens Coalition for Change, the CCC, has voted into power after the 2023 elections. The country is set to hold general elections in the year 2023. But in two weeks' time, Zimbabwe will also hold by-elections for constituencies and wards which lost representation in parliament and local government due to recalls or death. Addressing supporters at a rally in Gweru on Sunday, Tendai Biti said the first thing the CCC government would do if it, for it, if it is voted into power was to stabilize the economy by re -dollarizing. His sentiments come at a time when civil servants are complaining about the Zimbabwean dollar, which is gradually losing value against the U.S. dollar. The first thing that the CCC will do is to bring back the U.S. dollar BT has said workers should get US dollars. Teachers will get their 500 US dollars. We did that. We will dollarize again to bring back stability. By that, we restore pensions, salaries, teachers, and doctors to work and make sure hospitals are equipped. The current finance minister, Mtuli Nguwe, in 2019 ended a decade's use of a multi-currency regime, which was adopted in 2009 to tackle the 2008 hyperinflation. But three years on, civil servants have not come to terms with the decision, and they are demanding wages in the U.S. dollars. Government teachers and university lecturers are currently on strike, while nurses and doctors are threatening to join. The government has since responded to its workers' job action by threatening to replace them. Mube recently argued that dollarizing the economy in Zimbabwe was a bad idea. I want to be clear, we are not U.S. dollarizing. We will not U.S. dollarize. U.S. dollarization is a very bad idea. Mube has said, the reason why our industry is performing well, the utilization is up there, the house of souvenirs is because we have a domestic currency, he said while responding to a question in the National Assembly. BT further posted on Twitter on Monday morning saying, the economy will be at the center of the 2023 election, re-dollarization, scrapping of the failed and rigged auction system, floating of the Zim dollar, scrapping of forex surrender requirements and paying civil servants in US dollars will be a